This is our own Fiat Ducato recovery truck for sale. This is a 2.3 130 with a Pro Build Transport Systems body on the back. I've had this since new and this has only done a genuine 24,000 miles. So it's all still looking like new and there was the mileage up there. Just wait until that comes back on. Let me just shut the door then. Right, it's done 24,232 miles. This one's also got quite a few extras on it. It's got the air conditioning, it's got uh, cruise control, it's got the upgraded leather steering wheel, which you would often get in the campers. It's got the upgraded leather uh, gear knob there. It's got the padded Ducato headrest on the two outer seats. It's got the mad air suspension on the rear leaf springs. And the compressor there is behind the driver's seat. Got a dash cam up here, which I'll leave in the vehicle. Got a Bodit mount there with a generic phone holder. Got a pure DAB radio system there with an antenna mounted on the windscreen. To be honest, that doesn't really work. It probably needs a roof one. So that's ended up not being particularly good, but that's an FM sender and I've tuned button one to uh, receive it there, but it very rarely works because it doesn't have good enough signal. Uh, got additional USB ports and a 12 volt meter there so you can see the state of the battery. Got the cup holders down there because this has also got the document holder uh, here as well and tablet holder if you want to use that in the middle there. This has also got mirror protectors on as well. These are unique to the Fiat Ducato. They come from the sort of motorhome world and these work incredibly well. And I got these after smashing that mirror when the vehicle was only a few days old. Got additional lighting here. So we've got deck lighting either sides. The amber lights are LED as well. And then I've got these side lights here, which is very handy when you're turning because your axle there is sort of your pivot point. Got three color marker lights on the back, including additional LED lights for reversing. They're on an individual switch. You can decide when to put those on because that helps a lot when you're reversing when you've got a vehicle on the back. And the beacon lights also have brake lights, side lights and indicators in as well. And the controller for the roof beacons is here and it gives you a simulation of what's happening up there on the roof and you can cycle through various different patterns and you can change whether you have it on the front, back or both. At the moment, the power button uh, sticks, it still works. But anyway, I've ordered a new controller. A new one will be coming and will be supplied with the vehicle or sent later in the post if it's delayed. Also fitted a full size spare there as well under that cover. And it's got the tool kit there under the seats. And then under this custom made cover is a warrior wrench, which has hardly been used, all still like new. And this is an £8,000 winch. And that has both a corded controller and a wireless remote control. So this Pro Build aluminium body, I think is the best in the market. I did lots of research when I was buying this truck and I chose them because all they make is this body. So it's been refined over the years and these folding ramps really do work well. And what they've done is they've put the approach angle in the ramps rather than having a much steeper angle on the beaver tail there. So consequently, it loads lower vehicles much easier. You've got four aluminium checker plates where your tyres go, so it's very easy loading it and getting the weight in the right place. And uh, you don't have that risk of driving into the cab either. When you're looking out the window, you can see exactly where the tire is there. And usually that is spot on. This has got a slightly modified body on it because I've got more tie down points than a normal one because this was designed to load two Renault Twizzes at a time. So it's got more strapping points and it's got an extra layer of um, gripper tape here as well. And I've put gripper tape on the ramps as well which makes it easier when you're loading in the wet. This has also got the mud guards, which isn't standard either. And this bracket is an addition as well, so you can padlock your ramps down so no one can steal them, and that's a stainless steel padlock there. And this has also got the airbags there, 
on your rear suspension and when you've got a vehicle loaded particularly if it's a heavy vehicle you can pump the leaf springs back round to a smile and then your vehicle doesn't look overloaded and that's all controllable in the cab here you can pressurize the airbags up and you can release the pressure from either one here so what about the payload well when i bought this i was told it was 1620 kilograms i've never weighed the truck so i don't know actually what this truck weighs but i bought this because the fiat Ducato chassis cab is the lightest three and a half ton truck in the business and the pro build body is one of the lightest bodies as well so you're not going to get a lighter three and a half tonner than a fiat Ducato, but what some people do is remove the spare tire and the passenger seats to increase that payload a little bit more but this is also not got ad blue so this is the last of the trucks before they fitted ad blue so that means these have a slightly better payload as well than the newer ones and also a bit better reliability We've also got a Dakin strap box there mud guards on the front and additional rubber mud guards down there on the back so this has only done 24,000 miles as I said completely genuine and uh, it's also had two oil changes and I think I did the first one at about four or six thousand miles and uh, I've also just done the timing belt and water pump which seems crazy for 24,000 miles but because it's just turned five years old that was due on the service schedule as so well. We've got the V5 here so you can see no previous keepers and the registration date is the 11th of June 2019 and it's just had an MOT at 24,214 miles so the expiry date is the 15th of June 2025. So there were two advisories on the MOT one was a rattly heat shield on the exhaust but I've sorted that and the other were was uh, low tires on the rear these are the original they were on the front but i swapped them to the back but they're not really low they're four and a half millimeters so i'm surprised they've been picking that up in the last two mot tests now for the condition well to be honest it's all still looking like new as you can see the seats are all like new got this thick carpet mat on the floor and underneath absolutely nowhere at all because that's been in there since it was new there's no chips on the windscreen and the body uh, is dent free and scratch free there's no scuffs on the front bumper there's just two or three small stone chips uh i don't know whether yeah there's one tiny one there and there's another one somewhere but uh, these are dead flies they're not stone chips but I don't think I can find it anyway. They're really minor. Now the sun's come out, it's reflecting back. A bit too bright to see them. Um, but yeah, it's all still looking like new, apart from a bit of rust on the steel wheels. And that's just where wheel weights have been removed and changed um, because of rebalance these tyres a couple of times. And a bit of slight surface rusting there from using wheel cleaner. Um, but the rest of it, it's all still like a new vehicle. Of course it would be at 24,000 miles. So I think I've covered about everything, but anyway, all the other information is on the website, including a photo gallery where you can look at pictures full screen and zoom in and have a good look in detail. I understand these trucks are about 35,000 plus fat new now. So while this is five years old, it's only done 24,000. It's still like new. It's got that added benefit that it doesn't have ad blue and a huge saving compared to buying a new one. And this has got all those extras as well. So go to the website for all the contact details.